Howdy folks, Comics Gatekeeper here. Oh, let's see. Let's talk about Joker bollocks. But actually his, you know, hairy green testicles, but all the stuff that's surrounding the movie. Uh, let's see, where did it all begin? The original buzz was good, and then a few weeks ago, somebody pointed out that the character of the Joker was an incel, and that since he commits crazy random acts of violence in the film, it's going to incite others to do the same. Yeah, the same argument they've been using for about 80 years about films and computer games, and it's still a big pile of bollocks. So, the director comes out fighting. He said, why would it do that? Why on earth would it do that? What about all the other violent films? What about John Goddamn Wick? What about the 300 people Keanu Reeves kills in the film? Did that incite anyone? No, it did not. Because crazy people are crazy, and they will be incited by something or other, even if it's a fucking fly on the windscreen. <sighs> He's got a crazy. So yeah, I have no idea where all this is coming from. When I was a teenager in my twenties, it was Christians and the right that were trying to ban films for this reason. Now it's liberals because I can't tell the difference between one type of extremist and the other anymore. It's really strange. So yeah, uh, another thing off topic now. Because I like to go off on my tangents, as you know. Uh, I seem to recall somebody who worked on the film all but admitting that it wasn't actually a Joker movie. I've had this theory for a while, but... Uh, they gave him a real name, gave him a completely different background life. Didn't make him have an accident in the lab, just put paint on. It, Like I said on Twitter and I believe in a previous video it just seemed like they took the story of a man's complete and total mental breakdown and painted the word Joker over the script which it might be an interesting film but it's not a fucking Joker movie and I'm still going to watch it ah oh dear I didn't say I wasn't a hypocrite anyway so what else is going on uh, let's see Ethan Van Skyver's comic, the one that everyone said wouldn't be, ever arrive, has arrived. There's some slight rippling on the pages, and uh, people are going crazy about it, even though I think I pulled out some random graphic novels from my collection, my rather vast collection, and a lot of them had ripples in it. It's, I don't, <laughs> I don't really care, <laughs> one way or the other, but People I use it who already hate Ethan Manskyver are already using it against him. And other people are defending him, and the people who are defending him are being accused of being biased. So, wouldn't that mean the people who are attacking him are biased as well? <sighs> who knows? On a personal level, I actually like Ethan. I think he's funny. But, uh, yeah, I'd say this is very, very minor. I, see, I don't recall people attacking Zach because he used the wrong mailer. Uh, I think this is just uh, this is a, a, a slight, <laughs> a very, very slight problem with the comic at best. And it's one that appears, the professional industry appears to share as well. Judging by all the goddamn DC comics I pulled out on my bookcase, have the same problem. Or should I say issue? With regards to my own comic, Creek and Chris Must Be Destroyed, uh, the banner's being finalised, and uh, after that, we're going to start doing some sequential pages. Uh, if you're on Twitter, you've probably seen three or four of them already, and some promo art, some coloured, some not coloured, the uh, the cover, and um, yeah, three or four pages of uh, inked uh, art that has yet to be coloured, and um, possibly even some of my idiotic child scrolls that were original <laughs> character designs but yeah uh, we're going to start doing a lot more things soon as soon as the banner is ready 
once we have a sizable portion of the comic done then we're going to launch it Indiegogo and then it's going to be off to the races baby well I hope uh, another full disclosure and uh, for those who don't know I launched the original Indiegogo in February and it died on its ass hard as fuck it was really really depressing as fuck I uh, I retweeted and did all the things I thought I was supposed to do and then after it ended the day it ended I got lots and lots of good advice about what went wrong how, how I didn't have enough art I didn't have enough of this I didn't have enough of that they said, how does a person with a Twitter following of a thousand not get any any um, any business, blah, 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 blah. But yes, as I said, I'm grateful for all the, uh, all the constructive criticism. And yeah. So next time, hopefully things will be better. And then we can, we can begin my comic book career. Yay. Right then. Take care, folks. Bye, yeah.